Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So here we are with Number, and we are going to be watching some horror stories. And let's get straight into it. So. Hello, my friends. Today I'd like to introduce a brand new game. And believe me, this is lit. As we all know, you guys and I like a horror story, and this is why I am convinced that you will love this game. A new game, Blair Witch, from the Hunt to Killer series is... Sorry for that. Two scary stories about my friend house. Hi. This happened when I was in college. One day, I decided to sleep at my friend's house. After having fun eating takeout with my friend and chatting for a while, we both laid down to sleep. Then I suddenly started hearing the sound of a wooden percussion that is typically used in Korean temples. However, as my friend and I were sincere Buddhists, I just laughed and then fell asleep, thinking it was a hallucination. About a month later, I met her again at a cafe near her house, and I made a joke. Hey, did you turn on the Buddhist broadcast at your house that day? I kept hearing the sound of a wooden instrument when I slept over at your house. Then my friend suddenly looked serious and asked me if I heard it, and she abruptly called her mother, trembling. Hey, Mom, my friend heard it too. What should I do now? In confusion, I asked what was going on, and my friend suddenly cried and said, I keep experiencing sleep paralysis ever since I started living in that house. I've been suffering this for five months, not one or two days. I can't live like this anymore. She's thinking about she then sleep confessed paralysis. that she- What? It's because she's thinking of sleep paralysis, so that shit happens. Have you ever experienced that? Uh, no. I have. It, it, it's, it's not good. I've been staying at a nearby motel. It was fine at first, but she started to have sleep paralysis more and more, even when she was in the motel. I was so Bro, surprised. I just think this girl is, like, freaking insane. Like, we need to get this girl to a mental hospital. When she told me this, to reassure her, I told her to pack up right away, check out of the motel, and come to my house. Then she cried even Wait, harder. Wait, hold up. Was she living in the motel? Because then I might have ah uh, got that wrong. Time, and she said she's too scared to enter that house by herself. She asked me to go with her, so we took a taxi and went back to her house. However, the moment I went into her house, I thought I was going to cry too, and I was sure that something was wrong. As soon as I opened the door, I suddenly smelled rotten water. My friend had a goldfish at the time, and there wasn't even a drop of water left in the fish Whoa, tank. Whoa, wait. Who has that big of a fish tank for just one goldfish? Like, that's a huge fucking fish tank for one goldfish. <laughs> and it's, it's... Bro! What the fuck is that goldfish? You see that number? That shit got me uh, creeped out. Uh, bro, like, who, who's gonna eat sushi with that, bro? <laughs> she was gonna the fish eat it. Was dried she was up. up and laid there dead. We ran out of the house without even thinking. Bro, about that crashing. shit was dried up. No freaking eyeball fish ass. Left in the fish tank. Just look, the that's okay. That shit's dried up. You're gonna tell me that shit's dried up? No, that shit's that shit dead. That shit like possessed by the beginning. Fish was dried up and laid there dead. We ran out of the house without even thinking about packing her stuff. Oh, sorry for the sad guys. Up. We didn't go back to my house right away. Instead, we wandered around the crowded streets for a long time before returning. When we finally returned to my house, we both sat on my bed, thinking for a long time about what we had to do, and then fell asleep. When I woke up the next morning, I noticed that there were several missed calls from my mom. When I called her back, she asked me, Are you at home with someone right now? Why, mom? I asked her, almost crying out of fear. And then she told me about her dream. In her dream, 
A tall, skinny, and abnormally big-eyed man was looking <laughs> through my window oh, in okay. black clothes. Hunchback. Why crazy. isn't she coming out? Why? Oh. Why? 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 He muttered this while watching Dude, me. Dude, I just remember I accidentally called you number, bro. It's oh. okay, I'm number. <laughs> oh, guys, no, I'm joking. He's Lola. Mom ran towards him, shouting, What are you doing? Then she suddenly woke up from her dream. So I was honest and confessed to my mom about my friend's house, and she told me not to go anywhere with her. She lived in my house for about a month. One of her mother's relatives was a shaman, and she suddenly got mad when she talked about her daughter, and then advised my friend to stay close to me. I think her house might have been possessed. Oh, uh, look at those ears, dude! Freaking! Look at it, like, what is up with these ears? They're so crusty. <laughs> Bro, like, dude, this guy got, like, half elf, but then, like, by got, like, I like, got regular ears, dude. That's just... Inside my house. I guess it's because my mom bought some ceremonial salt before I moved into this house. And Wait, hold up. Why am I so weirded out with the ears? Who even notices the ears, bro? Relatives, who was a monk, once visited my house to pray for me while I was away. Maybe that's why. My friend later told me that she had moved out of the house, and the owner actually accepted her request without any complaints. I think cheap houses like those always have a legitimate reason. And fortunately, Ugh. she's doing very well now. Oh, sorry for the sad guys. Oh, I wish that guy just didn't have red eyes. Because, like, I'd be much more comfortable. But, to put that hunchback, dude, that hunchback was like... My father's grandmother once told him a story of a man from the 1900s in Mexico that had a very heart-stopping experience. Said man, let's call him Jose, a very common Mexican name, loved to drink. So he and one of his friends are finishing drinking at a local bar one night. When they leave the bar, they say their goodbyes and go their separate ways for the evening. As I stated before, it's Mexico in the 1900s. For most people, you either travel by your own two feet or by horse. Luckily for Jose, he had a horse. So off he went, back to his home late at night, taking the dirt trails. Along the way, he passes under a bridge. As he comes out the other side, he begins to hear what sounds like a child crying. Okay. Oh, shit. I think he stops I know what and gets what off his is. horse. What'd you say? Hey, look. I think I know what this is. What? La Llorona. Oh. Have you heard of her? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think this is in the direction of the crying. He soon finds the source of the crying. It's a little boy crying all alone. He asks the child if he's all right. I'm lost. Can you help me? Jose, of course, agrees to help the little boy. So he picks him up and places him on the rear of the saddle. He gets back on and then they're on their way. As they travel along, Jose feels the little kid poke his back a few times. So, Jose asks, Bro. what's the matter? Wait, the hold the up. Little kid that was poking? That guy, like, th this kid biting your, like, freaking shirt, bro. Poke his back Like, look at that, times. bro. That ain't so poking. So, Jose asks, what's the matter? The young boy responds. Daddy, daddy, look. I grew teeth. When Jose looks back, he's face to face with a horrifying sight. What was once a little boy now set a dark figure with okay. rows oh, of sharp, yeah. long See, white teeth. I'm not really creeped out about that because there's like with a pair of eyes that radiated death itself. Yeah, like there's just black eyes. white with fear, Jose's only reaction was to pull back the reins of the horse which causes the horse to fall backwards. 
Luckily, he didn't get caught in the middle and just fell off the back. Jose wasted no time getting up and looking for his horse, but unfortunately the horse had been spooked and ran off into the night. Jose proceeded to do the same and hightail it out of there, not even daring to test his luck. He didn't look back. The following day, when his friend asked to go for some drinks, he said only a little, because he didn't want to stay too late. Okay, uh, so let's pause that. Uh, I have to get a, um, hold on, dude, uh, stop for a second, King, uh, tab. This incident took place in Oh, China. guys, dude, you there? Yeah. Okay. Um. Wait, what? Um, am I not sharing? Yeah, you are. Oh, it's just fine. You know, a female bus driver was driving. Oh, when I've watched this one before. The bus suddenly approached her. They began threatening her and told her to stop the bus immediately. Other passengers were ignoring the situation, but one middle-aged man stood up and tried to stop them. However, showing no mercy, they started beating him. This the guy's the only good guy. The bus dragged the driver into the woods nearby, and after a while, returned to the bus. It was certain and that's that what the, the bus driver was sexually too. harassed by them. Even though she returned with a terrible look on her face, her expression was still very calm. The driver then ordered the middle-aged man to get off the bus right away. The man complained to the driver that he was the only person trying to save her, but the driver shouted that she wouldn't start until the man got off. The man resisted, but the passengers joined in and forced him out of the bus yes. with his luggage, yes. and then the yes. bus started to drive off. The man was upset. But there was nothing he could do, so he just looked at the back of the bus while it left him behind. Staring at the back of the bus, he was suddenly shocked. Mm -hmm. When the bus entered the curb, it did not slow down, and then it dropped down a cliff. The bus driver didn't reduce <laughs> the speed shit. on purpose. Yeah, dude, I've watched, dude, I've watched this one before, bro. Uh, it's not really that scary, but... um. Yeah, the bus driver. Uh, crazy. Like, yeah, the bus driver was like, "Fuck you all, bitches! You never wanted to help me except for this man. Get off, get it off the fucking bus." And yeah, drove them all off. Passengers on the bus died, except for the man who was kicked off the bus. Told you the bus driver loved, like the bus driver thinks that man was a very good guy. What you said? This is a story oh, about Oh, I literally watched this video. Like, there was a video. person who was preparing for a trip. After he bought a plane ticket, he waited a few days with excitement and finally fell asleep a day before the trip. Yeah, well, they went to sleep. And he had uh, a weird dream. Man dancing. He saw a woman and, in his uh, dream wearing a colorful jacket. Plane crashes. Her eyes and mouth were both wide open. Yeah, bro. Then she suddenly shook her body Mo and like, started to dance like a low key. I want these dance moves. Mad person. I want these dance moves. No Being joke. surprised, he finally woke up. He checked the time and then he realized that the boarding time had already <clears throat> passed. All of a sudden, he received a phone call from his mother while he was thinking about what he should do next. As soon as he answered the phone, he heard his mother's anxious voice. She was worried about him. Confused, he turned on the television and the news made his heart drop. The plane that he was supposed to be on had crashed. Furthermore, the airline's logo looked very familiar to him. I was oh, we watched this like. Did I choose the exact same thing? 
And when I opened my eyes, it was already dark outside. Hi, dude. During uh, the class, no one bothered this to is wake the... me up. So I had to leave the classroom alone. The dark hall. Yeah, this was is the last one in the yard to watch this one, so I'm gonna stop that. I was really Pause scared. that. Uh, get out of that. Okay, um. Okay, I'm going to present tab. Boom. Oh, wait, wrong one. Hi. I was 13 when this happened. My parents left on a business trip to LA, so I had to stay home. My dad gave me his card so that I could order whatever I needed. So I kind of enjoyed being alone. Oh and wait, what was that pizza? Because I've been I, like, dude, look at this pizza. Left on a business trip to LA, so I the had best to kind stay of pizza is dude, that shit pink. Like, what is wrong with that? <laughs> like, dude. He's scam here. Like. Dude, this this is pure blood. They just poured that on there. And then you got the tissue inside the human body and it's just on the blood. My that's dad what gave that's what me it is. Card so that I could order whatever I needed. So I kind of enjoyed being alone. And I wasn't scared. Wait, I think I've watched this one before too. Alone so but many only times. this one. I don't think I've watched that 14. It was only uh, for three days. days. Well, this was around the time the clowns were breaking into houses and doing some weird stuff. Oh, maybe not. But they never came to my area since they usually hit more quiet places, especially the area near a forest. Although we have what? a fence Wait, that could What? Wait, what does a cat have to do with that? Easily That's lost a dumb animal. Climb over. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we didn't really think much about it because the area where we lived in was very safe. Anyway. It was around 6 p.m. and this was in the winter, so it got dark pretty fast. We had a glass room at the back of the house, also known as a conservatory, and it leads straight to the garden. The room was right next to the kitchen. I got a little hungry, so I went to the fridge, took out some Wait, snacks, was that and went back. We had a was that like a plant or was that like the house, a freaking like a body, a bro? And it leads straight to the garden. Hold up. The room. Is that like a, like, are you seeing this guy's like boom and you got the shape or is that just a plant? Was right next to the kitchen. Shit, I don't even know. I got <laughs> a little hungry. So I went to the fridge, took out some snacks and went back to the living room. to. Continue. Wait, is that a jelly sandwich? Because that, because I do not know what that is. You watching TV. There was a roof on the glass room that intensified any sound that landed on top of it, even the gentlest drop of water. That day, it was raining heavily, so it was too noisy to hear anything except the rainfalls pounding on the roof. About a few minutes later, I was quite sleepy, so I decided to go up to my room and lay down. I was about to grab my phone and check my social media, but then, I heard something drop really hard on something downstairs. It really creeped me out. I got really scared, but decided to go downstairs to check, thinking Whoa, that it would be nice. What are these stairs? Like, does she live in a mansion? <laughs> Long ass stairs. <laughs> like, dude, like, these stairs, like, they go, like, boom. Probably go even further than this, because I can't even see the floor from here. And then, like, this still looks up, like, really high. And then you go, like, this, and it, it's cut off, so, like, can't really see. Nothing. So I came out of my room, went halfway down the staircase, and looked down the hallway. The whole area was dark, but I knew that someone was standing there. I saw the back of a silhouette. No jump scares. I quickly went to my room, trying not to make any noise. No jumps. Then I heard someone walking around the living room. I immediately called the police and whispered to the operator that I needed help ASAP. Okay. <laughs> but um, you whisper near the door. Um, I need help. Um, yeah, yeah. I would probably, 
I'd probably go near the window at the end of your room. No, I would not go near the window. I'd probably go in a corner with no closet or your bed because your bed's near the window. And, and I would just say, I would just, um, All of a sudden I had a... What? Just call them and leave it. Wait, but I don't think, I, I think they would hang up though. Because I've seen like operators hang up on the, the, on the people and then they die after. Yeah, because uh, they think it's fake because there's so much prank calls. Yeah, and that shit sucks. Yeah, and the only reason they think it's fake because there's like way too much prank calls they get. And also, it's kind of unreal. Wait, wait, hold up. Why wouldn't... Actually, like, this makes no sense. Because a dude with a baseball bat is in your house. Oh, actually, he didn't see the guy, so she didn't see the guy. So maybe, like, they'd just be like, okay, it's her fucking parents. So, maybe. Sneezing I mean, fit. Yeah, true. I was so panicked at that moment. So I instantly ran to the bathroom since it was the only room with a lock. Oh, okay. I was supposed As to be like, why the bathroom? bathroom? You gotta piss your pants? I sprinted up the stairs so fast. I locked the door and tried not to cry. The man tried to open the door. He kept turning the doorknob. The bathroom. Um, how does he know she's in the bathroom? Had a small blurry window, but I was able to see outside. So, just then, I got a glimpse of what was at the door. It was a girl with green hair and like, without I'm a nose. Like, I'm disgusted by those He teeth. was wearing a very weird outfit and was holding a gigantic knife. I had Dude, no that ain't choice, a knife, so bro. Could... That's a car. Like, that's a fucking katana, bro. A machete? <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, you see how... That's like a butcher knife plus a machete plus, like... An eight foot long hot dog. <laughs> Quickly hopped inside the bath, opened the big window, and jumped out. I slid yeah, off the Yeah, I was like, are you dumb? It's raining. I couldn't even feel my injury because I was so scared. As I was about to hop on the fence, Bro, I heard... that seemed like, oh, I'm drowning in water, but I could... But there were sharks running after me, so... I wouldn't go up and breathe because I was so scared of the sharks. The cops. <laughs> yeah. They entered our house and that's after a great that, they arrested analogy. and cuffed him. I think that's and how it's called. I, don't know. I was so scared and my body was Wait, shivering. unless she just like hurt her arm. Because if I just hurt my arm and that's all I hurt, like I just broke my arm, I'd be like, ow. Well, if she, like, broke her leg, because it literally looked like she broke her leg, because, like, her leg went down first, and then her arm went down, so... Yeah, that wouldn't make sense. Where it, that's how physics work. But I was glad that it was over. The police contacted my parents, so they came back home and... Well, like, if I had two arms broken, yeah, I would be just, like, like laying there, like, take me. I would see them again, and I knew that I was safe now. From then on, I never stayed at home alone, and that clown guy was in prison for several years for scaring kids and for possible Wait, murder. Wait, several or only like five or twelve years? Because... Yeah, I guess so. Like, yeah, that's several. Dude, like, what the fuck? Like, Exactly, I was about to say that. Like, like, that's not even a law. Yeah, like, dude, breaking and entering plus attempt. And that's attempted murder. Yeah, so, like, that'd be, like, uh, I think, like, 30 or 20 years. I mean, that could be life. If you attempt to kill someone, it could be life, um, I think. No, life, I think, is, like, actually killing somebody. Yeah, uh, but don't you think they could go to... They could be sent to life. Um, yeah, it is Because I remember... But, um, I don't think it's that... Uh, dude, I actually might have to look this up. Wait, because... Wait, think about it. Because if rapists... If rapists are put to the life sentence, then doesn't that mean the attempted murder? Um, 
Whoa. Yeah. Uh -huh. What well, break? Okay, breaking and entering is like, like ten years, right? And it could be less. It depends, cause on your strikes, like you have three strikes, and if you break, if you, if you get sent to jail three times, then it's life, no matter what, no matter what you do, it's life. Oh, okay. So breaking and entering, okay, um, and attempting murder. Okay, so I'm guessing clown community killing or just what this one dude just killing like a beast or and um uh attempted murder and yeah, other stuff. So yeah. Someone okay. This happened when I was seventeen. Wait, years how old. is this gonna be scary? I was a senior like, in high school. It was the middle of the week, and my like, friends bro, and I were I chatting online kind of about scary. wanting to do something new and fun over the weekend. We usually just went Wait, to the movies, who went to the mall, have a profile picture? Dinner, and I thought we should try something different. The next Wait, day, what? I was in the computer like, look, they don't have a profile classes, picture. And I knew that I was safe now. From that, look, chatting online about wanting to see, do they don't have a profile picture. Like, oh yeah, like all you have to do to get a profile picture. Is take a picture. <laughs> That's all. Like, how do you not have one? Fun over the weekend. We usually just went to the movies, went to the mall, or got dinner. And I thought we should try something different. The next day, I was in the computer lab for one of my classes, and I had some time to kill because I finished my assignment early. Keep in mind, Snapchat and Instagram were just starting up and didn't have the same kind of popularity as it has today. Okay. So the only thing we really had at the time was Facebook. However, my school was strict and blocked Facebook, so the only thing I could really do was read articles on news websites. While searching and scrolling through the Bro, internet, an article showed Why do you get a rat on a news website? It was about an interview with a man who was discussing the truth of paranormal activity around the area I grew up in. Intrigued, I read the article and looked up the places the guy was talking about. And sure enough, I found a Dude, bunch of that things. looks like some incredible shit. One place shit. in particular caught my eye. It was a place about 20 minutes some away from where I live. Yeah, it bro. It was like, known to have multiple uh, I think Facebook's uh, at least like a road. tiny bit better than that. As soon as class ended, I texted my friends about the Bro, I found. you already know she be looking sus as shit. And we all agreed on going and seeing what this road was all about Friday night. Friday night finally arrived. It was me and four of my friends. Right before we entered the location, I parked my car and had my friend drive. Because we believed that if a guy drove, not much would happen. So she drove my car while I was sitting Wait, in the passenger how, seat. What? How? What? The fuck? How is a girl driving? Like making more stuff happen they're sexist it's confirmed <laughs> yeah bro they're sexy i oh, do like while switching seats my other friends put baby powder on the top of my car because one of my other friends read that it helps people see when no no there was five people in here no there was four people in here him the uh two girlfriends and then the blonde ass kid this guy was not here the other guy was not there goes touch or brush your car it started to drizzle a bit which bummed us out because the baby powder would be washed away as we were driving my car we turned off the radio to make look he's not suspicious. there like the other guy is not there it's a All ghost of a sudden, we heard someone from a distance Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. But, like, like, do you see that pole? Like, the pole on the driver's seat. Like, why that shit be looking like a skin tone? Because, like, no, dude, that ain't no. And what the? Like, actually, what is that? Like, is that his arm? Like, are you riding on the seat, bro? And scream bloody murder. At 
that moment, I heard the sound of a car door trying to be opened, as if someone was aggressively trying They're to get moving, into my right? car. After that, we saw a police car driving so fast with the sirens on, as if they were chasing someone on a major highway. The problem with that was the road was paper thin and had tons of sharp turns, so you couldn't go that fast without crashing into another car. Plus, the car didn't have any of the county police or trooper tags from the area I lived in. I knew that because my dad was a cop, and I saw all kinds of different cop tags in my lifetime. Dude, wait, out he was a cop. Why does he have a trophy? Like, don't you just get pins, not like trophies? It's because he's not a good cop. He's trash at his job. <laughs> so it's basically like Two a things. good job, you suck metal. Just occurred. Like, we were all bro. freaked out. Okay, I know. hate people who just like fucking like. If, like, someone's getting murdered in your room, you're just gonna flip a blanket over your head. Or, like, close your eyes. Like, dude, I low-key hate people who do that. Drove to the nearest parking lot so that we could calm down. As we got out of the car, one of my Like, if you're started... scared, stop being a pussy and closing your eyes. To freak out even more. The baby powder on the roof of my car was smeared, and it was all over my passenger seat side door. What was even more creepy was the fact that there were finger marks all over the door. Now, this wouldn't normally creep me Dude, out. Dude, that... Like, I just want to know something. It started to freak out even more. Um... The baby powder on the roof of mm, my car was smeared, and it was all over... That a hand mark because that looked like somebody who has a short ass toe with some long ass toes no i mean like short ass, short ass foot with like some like demon ass fucking uh toes bro deformed toes like but do you actually see how big those toes are yeah. like what the fuck are those things like Come on, like, actually, I'm being serious. I need those toes. For my passenger seat side door. What was even more creepy was the fact that there were finger marks all over the Wait, door. hold up. How do you open your hand with your paw? Like, how do you open the car door with your palm? Like, you're just, like, pushing it open. Like, you're, like, not, you're, like, pushing it, not pulling it. So, like, how are you supposed to open it? Like, do you have, like, super sticky protection? Because you see, like, the hand mark over the door? Like, that's just a palm. It's not like a fist. It's probably got, like, good grip. So, like, when it grips into stuff, <laughs> Bro, like good a... grip. Like, dude, like, they fucking, like, have, like... Oh, wait, maybe it was, like, the baby power powder, like, melted... And like, oh, yeah. and like it was sticky, and they just like pull it open. Now this wouldn't normally creep me out, but we were driving Wait, the those entire were time, marks, bro. and we all made Farmers. sure not to touch the doors when entering the car. The strangest part was that the finger marks. Had Wait, how do you enter a car without touching the door? Like. That makes no sense. No fingerprints, but were clearly shaped like a hand. It was as if someone was trying to reach for the door handle. Oh, look at those fingernails! Not only that, we also okay, noticed that there were I, fingernail claw like, marks on my door handle. Like, just forget about the like this when I say I said I want those toes. I heard someone violently trying to open my door. <laughs> What the in the next few days, we told everyone freaking... both online Wait, how did you not see somebody from the window? And how it freaked us all out. Then, someone sent me a link to an article about the street we drove on and all the activity that occurred on it. Ooh. But it wasn't the one I originally read. It was a different one. As I was reading the website, I started to notice that all the things mentioned also happened to me the same exact way that night. But what freaks me out the most to this day 
is thinking about what would have happened if I didn't have my door locked. Would the door have opened up? <laughs> Uh, okay. A few days ago, I went to a Macy's store with my mother and son to go check out some jewelry. While my mom was checking out jewelry, I noticed an old man around his 50s come near us. He was about eight feet from us. Wait, okay, At I've first, seen that old I man before, but I've not watched this. So, like, they're just reusing shit. He was just a random customer checking something out for his lady or something. Then, from the corner of my eye, I noticed he was just standing there without moving and looking at us. Dude, I can't it tell if he's trying to smile or, he's try or if he's just like, like, you know when you have like the serious face, but you're still s smiling? Like when you're like super like, like super like yeah uh like not nervous but um like he's not trying to laugh um no um what is it because if you're nervous then you like have like cheeks bunched up but serious face um but it's like um excited like you're ex like excited but like you want to like hold it in I don't know why I could not figure out that, uh, what word that was. <laughs> and we feel uncomfortable. Yeah, but I understand. So I turned around. What? Dude. I said I understand what you were trying to say. Uh. To moving the stroller, which my toddler was in, because I didn't want him looking at my baby. I turned Oh, wait, eyes. okay, I thought, uh... I thought the baby was her first. ...to look at him again, and I could see that he was just staring at me with a creepy look. He was Dude, staring I feel at like me this guy's a worker, like, baby. that's a rat, you like, freaking trash. all of a sudden, he grinned wide. Ooh, bro, okay, I'm he sorry, was. guys, I, like, I was just trying to show you, like, that little, was that like, he was little wearing smile. women's shoes and oh. a scarf. And also <laughs> holding a dress in his dude. hand. He dude, opened his mouth. Did, you, did, you, did you see those toes, bro? You see those toes? Some ugly ass toes. <laughs> dude. Uh. Mouth and tried to say something. I couldn't hear what he was saying, but I could read his lips. I like you. I like your baby. I just thought the man was a weirdo. No. And then no. my mom also noticed that he was odd and creepy. He saw that my mom was glaring at him, so he walked away. But then he that appeared on the opposite side of yeah, us and started away. staring at me again. This time he pulled his phone Ooh. out and made it okay, seem like chill. he was about to take a picture. He was staring at us and his eyes opened widely. <laughs> he was smiling like a okay, crazy I'm psychopath. That was enough. Like, I'm about to try I not to go up to him and, and tell I'm him to get away from right us. Like, but I had my boy with bro. me and didn't want anything to happen. So I chose to just get out of there. I told a lady who was working there what happened. Wait, that's a lady? She said that okay. she would go take a look at him. A few minutes later, she came back and told us that he was a customer who has been reported before by other people. My mom asked, why hasn't he been even men men because like i can know i can get down with that kicked out then the lady said well because he hasn't threatened or hurt anyone so the store doesn't have a good enough reason to kick him out my mom and i were uh, pissed but off aren't they the oh wait never mind because obviously the man is just there to harass people the lady then told us that he said something creepy to her and also made her uncomfortable. She told us that when she went to go ask him what he was up to, he Wait, told- can't you get kicked out for like making people uncomfortable? I have to go. Oh, see you, dude. All right, uh, later. Okay. Sorry. All right, guys, so- I told her that he went to the just... store to return oh, the dress. He decided that he didn't like that he bought it for his lady. He told her with a smile, Yeah, 
I need to change quickly because she's cold now. My mom and I instantly felt so creeped out, so we just left. What did that mean? Could he have been hiding a dead body back Ew. at his place? A few days Look later, at those and toes. I feel relieved that the crazy guy didn't harm us. But I'm still wondering what he meant by, she's cold now. Alright, well guys, I'ma go, but I'ma try to keep <clears throat> this cool. I'ma try to keep this window open, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.